I'm going away for a while. I don't want to say goodbye. No. It's going to be tough. I have to really get myself in the right headspace. Okay. I do get emotional. I think it's good to get emotional, you know? It just shows that how much your family means to you. We do this for them. Daddy's leaving today, isn't he? Daddy's leaving. Hey, what's going on, guys? For those of you who are new here, my name is Tom. We are the Keto family. My wife, Kim, our two beautiful babies, Onyx and Araya. We all moved here to the Philippines in December 2022, just over six months ago. And that whole time we've been here, we've spent our whole lives together. We haven't really separated. Kim and I went on a very short trip away. I really want to talk to you about separation and saying goodbye. There is a huge part of the Filipino culture that goes through this on a regular basis and it is difficult. I am not gonna lie but I wanted to do this video to offer a little bit of support, maybe some tips and tricks on how I cope with separating from my family. Guys, as you know, we moved here to the Philippines in December 2022. We literally upped our whole lives from the UK and moved across the world. We took everything with us. One of the toughest parts about making that decision and moving all the way here was saying goodbye to our family. It was the toughest moment of the move, was saying goodbye to my dad and my mom. We have got some good news though, they will be coming out here to the Philippines this year. They've booked their flights and I cannot wait to see them again. As you guys know, we have so many followers from the Philippines and I've known it as long as I've sort of been immersed in this culture from knowing Kim and her mom, I've known that an OFW is a big thing. This is such a big part of the Filipino culture. For those of you who don't know, an OFW is an overseas Filipino worker and they will say goodbye to their families for long periods of time. Guys, the first time, the first time I was made aware of this was when Kim told me that her auntie had to leave her children and she left them for like 15 years to go work abroad. And that just got me thinking like, I could not imagine being away from my kids for so long. I can get through most things quite easy, but the, the biggest thing that I have a hard time getting my head around is separation and saying goodbye to my family. I haven't told you guys this yet, but today, I will be saying goodbye to Kim and the kids for a short while. But then I'm back for a little bit of time and then I'm away again for a bit longer. I know I'm so lucky in that I know I get to come back. There's probably people watching this now. You're away from your family, you're away from your kids. Maybe you've not seen them in like 10 years, even a year. It's tough on whatever level it's on. I'm just letting you guys know what I'm going through currently and how I can empath empathize with people who are also going through a similar thing. So aside from doing the YouTube, I also work in TV. It's been my passion for like 10 years. I started 10, 11 years ago. I still wanna keep my foot in the door in the TV world. I really wanna still do that as a career. It's my passion. I love making, I love making anything. I love creating, whether it's on our own channels or whether it's for Netflix or whatever. I, I just love making stuff, right? So I love creating. I think that's like where my passion really lies. So I can't turn these opportunities down. I'm so grateful that Kim understands and she's happy to take the reins while I'm gone. She's gonna be looking after the kids. So that might, there may be a little bit of gaps in the filming and, and us uploading videos. So we, we have to prioritize the kids really. I've accepted a job in New Zealand. So I, I fly tonight, like 8 p.m. tonight I fly out. So I don't have long until I'm flying, like five hours or so until I need to go to the airport. Every time I think about it, and I think about having to say goodbye to the kids, I start getting emotional. When Kim and I were just the two of us, it was it was kind of easier to say goodbye. Like, as much as I would miss Kim, Kim would do her own thing. She didn't have to stay at home and mind the kids. And I'd just go off and work in some jungle somewhere. So I could go and do these things, and I didn't have to feel bad. Kim and I would FaceTime often. It was fun. We'd come back, it'd make the relationship even stronger. But that's one of the best things about having to separate and having to say goodbye, is you appreciate those that you are saying goodbye to 
so much more, like a thousand times more. And you start to realize that, you know, they are, they are amazing and I do miss them. And that is a healthy thing for a relationship. And then Onyx came along and I did a couple of work trips away while Onyx was young. And that was so tough. I still remember now walking out the door and saying goodbye and just wanting to cry, but I had to just put on a brave face. And I let myself have 10 minutes of the emotion and then I have to let it go, I go into work mode. When I came back from that, those first trips with Onyx, he was different with me. He wouldn't let me in straight away. He kind of had this barrier up. It was like a protection thing for Onyx because he'd gone his whole life over one year with his dad there and then all of a sudden dad's gone. Dad isn't here every night. Dad can't read him bedtime stories. You know, he's seen dad on a small screen. He didn't quite understand it. Now guys, Araya is at that age and this is gonna be the first time I'm saying goodbye to her. So it's, it's gonna be an extra level higher, an extra level tougher than what it was last time. But there was a while where he prioritized Kim more than me. He really wanted his mummy much more. He became more of a mummy's boy, whereas before the trip, he was a daddy's boy. And that's tough for me because like, I, you know, me and Onyx had such a strong connection. And it took me a while to build that connection again, back to the level that it was at. And now it just makes me kind of emotional. To know that like you know I might lose that again a little bit I do get emotional I think it's good to get emotional you know it just shows that how much your family mean to you like we do this for them you know I, I don't know you all personally but I know a lot of you are OFWs who watch our videos a lot of you are working away from your families you've been gone for years it's often a thankless job working long hours everything you do get you send back to your family and you're doing that year in year out year in year out just to get an education or a house to put a roof and over your family's head to give them food that takes sacrifice that takes incredible courage and it's something i deeply admire because i know what it's like to have to say goodbye Granted, it's not on the same level, the same scale that some of you are going through, but saying goodbye is tough however it is, whether it's a day, whether it's a year. It's tough to say goodbye. Hi, buddy. Hi. Come here. Give me a cuddle, because I'm going to miss you when I go. Are you going to miss daddy? Are you going to miss daddy? <laughs> hey. One of the things I've been doing the last couple of days is just is trying to be super present with the kids, like not touching my phone, just just being with the kids. We're so blessed that we can just, our job, our life, is to just film and be with the kids and experience this amazing country and just go on adventures together. So I love that. He's back. Daddy, you did it. It's broken. Okay, daddy fix it. Just knowing that I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna see them again. It is a short while. You know, you get to build the relationship as well because when you do come back, you appreciate them so much more. You want daddy to come play? Yeah. Okay, I'm coming now. I'll catch you guys later on. I gotta go spend time with the kids. But guys, just know you're not alone. A lot of people go through this. And one of the best coping mechanisms that I've found is to just embrace the emotion from the start. You can change that emotion to an emotion of gratitude. So when you are saying goodbye, when you're feeling that sadness, change it to an emotion of gratitude and feel grateful for what you do have and what you are saying goodbye to because you know that you have that and you are going to have that again soon. So stay strong. There's a lot of people in your position. It helps to talk about it. Say it out loud. You know, tell these people how much you love them and how much you mean to them. <laughs> I love you, buddy. You mean a lot to me. <laughs> Embrace it. You're not alone. Let me know in the comment section if you've been through something like this similar recently, how you guys have coped with it. Maybe you have some tips and tricks for me. Okay, let's go. Goodbye, we can say see you soon. Yeah? yeah. Say see you soon, Daddy. Because <laughs> you'll see me soon. Yeah, we can FaceTime day. Daddy every day. Yeah, I can even FaceTime Daddy tonight in the airport.
Bye, Ate. Bye. Bye, sir. Take care, sir. Bye. Bye. Yesterday, when I first met you at work in 2014, who knew what the universe could do? From two rings and two I do's on June 5th, 2021, to having our two beautiful babies, Onyx and Araya. With every step we take, the stars align. With every moment that goes by. Faith in the universe, and we are unstoppable. 